I have a question for you and hopefully you'll give me your answer in the comments. The question is, how loud do you like me? Right now I'm speaking to you at a level of minus 23 LUFS. That's loudness units compared to full scale, or LUFS as I like to call it. So that's quite quiet. I can go quieter. This is minus 24 LUFS. Minus 23 is the standard for broadcast in Europe. Minus 24 is the standard for broadcast in the USA. You probably won't hear much difference from minus 23. Minus 24 LUFS, like you hear me now, may seem pretty quiet. It is compared to YouTube's preferred level. You might want to turn down your volume now. This is YouTube's preferred loudness level, minus 14 LUFS. That's a full 10 decibels louder than the broadcast standard in the USA. And how do I know that minus 14 LUFS is YouTube's preferred level? Well, if you right click on any video, you'll see an option to pop up a panel called Stats for Nerds. Don't worry, I won't call you a nerd. The statistic we need is found next to volume slash normalized. Don't bother about the percentages as they depend on the volume slider in the YouTube player. It's the content loudness figure in decibels that's interesting. In this example, I'll just play you a few seconds. You'll see a content loudness figure of 3.0 dB. What this means is that YouTube considers the loudness of the audio track in this video to be 3 decibels too loud, and they've turned it down by 3 decibels. So the mastering engineer's clever processing to make the track so loud has wasted 3 decibels of potential dynamic range, and the limiting needed to get the loudness up has made the track sound harsher than it need be. And this music doesn't sound as though it was meant to be harsh. So back to the question, and back to minus 23 LUFS. Now, as you know, I make videos that demonstrate audio techniques. So suppose I make a video about compression, and when I finished editing it, I use a limiter to push the volume up to minus 14 LUFS so that YouTube likes it. What I've just done is ruin my demonstration by adding limiting on top of the compression that I wanted to demonstrate. That's useless and a waste of anyone's time watching the video. So if I want to make a video on compression, I either have to accept some additional limiting or set the level low enough so there is no limiting. But if I set the level low enough to avoid limiting, then my video will be quiet compared to other YouTube videos. It's a well-known fact that people who are not audio specialists often equate louder with better and quieter with worse. Even with years of experience as an audio professional, it's important to remind yourself that louder is not better. It's just louder and it just seems to sound better. So my question is, what level would you prefer for my videos? Minus 14 LUFS, so they're compatible with other YouTube videos, even though it might affect the audio quality, or minus 23 LUFS, which is mostly quiet enough to avoid limiting, or as loud as possible without limiting, which nearly always will be lower than minus 14 LUFS and probably quite a lot lower. So over to you. The comments section is just down there. I'm David Meller, course director of Audio Masterclass. Thank you for listening.